All right, here we go. The first ever Steak and Shake review on the channel. This is only the second time I've ever tried Steak and Shake. We're going to check out one of the four under $4 meals that they offer. You get four items for under $4. A penny under $4, but it's under $4. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. You heard me. Four meals for under $4. All four of them are $3.99. You get some type of burger, fries, and a cookie. And then there's the fourth item. You get to choose from a laundry list, about six items. Uh, applesauce, some more fries, uh, coleslaw. Um, I'm missing something else. Baked beans. And I think there's one more item. I went with the coleslaw. So what I got was the $3.99 triple steak burger meal and it's in this bag let's get it all right so let's see what we got in the bag we got some ketchup from the fine folks over at steak and shake now i will tell you this is the first review ever of steak and shake and one of the main reasons it's the second time i've ever had steak and shake the first time i had it maybe four years ago i got violently sick like violently we're not going to get into it uh during the review so uh reaching into the bag there is the cookie right there check it out in the bag soft nice soft cookie here is the um fries right there steak and shake fries throw that over to the side um here is the whoa that is the triple steak burger in this wrapper m and we'll keep it m and And then, uh, like I said, the fourth side, I have the Steak and Shake Coleslaw. Let's just give you a peek of the coleslaw in this saucer right here. There it is, some standard uh, coleslaw. Sweet coleslaw, I believe. So let's get up close and personal with this uh, triple steak burger. Here we go. All right, check it out right there. Three steak burger patties, onions, pickles, and there's lettuce and Heinz ketchup and mayonnaise. But I am pretty sure that it did not say bacon on the uh, ingredient list, but you can see there's a couple slices of bacon on there. And again, this one right here, uh, three steak patties, the fries, the cookie, and the extra side, uh, which I got coleslaw, $3.99. The price, no brainer, but is the taste going to work? Oh, this is an insane burger. Check it out right there. Sun glistening on that burger. So wish me luck. We're going into the burger first. I'm gonna go right into this area right here. Get everything on it, so wish me luck. Mm. Wow. Wow, this is really good. So much meat in there. Perfectly cooked. This took a while to uh, get to me, too. It took me about 15 minutes uh, after I ordered to get to me, but this is so much going on right now with the uh, huge pickles. Look at that pickle. Look at that. Look at them. Huge pickle, nice amount of everything else on here, the onions and the lettuce, and uh, a nice addition with that bacon. Again, I did that review uh, last week of the um, Wendy's burger, and I didn't think it was supposed to have bacon on it, and they put bacon on two times in a row. I'm on a roll. Let's take another bite. Wow, I'm going to tell you. Just by itself, this burger would probably be worth uh, $3.99. Check it out. Um, let's try a couple of these fries. They're really thin. Check them out. Steak and shake fries. Eh, nothing to write home about. Uh, decent size, too. I got like a medium with the fries. Check it out. Looks like, like a medium. You know, definitely not a small. Definitely bigger than a small that you're going to get like at uh, McDonald's, I would say. Um... I really want to try the coleslaw. They didn't give me a fork. So we'll go caveman style. I'll reach in and uh, try a little. No. No. Mm -mm. Nope. 
All right, so I wasn't feeling that coleslaw. There wasn't much sweetness to it. Actually, there wasn't much uh, mayonnaise or anything else going on in that coleslaw for me. Um, very dry, so not a big fan of that. So I guess the only thing left to try is the cookie. It's soft. Um, no drink with this, as you can tell. It's uh, four items. They did have a special 99 cent any size for a sweet tea, so I could have gotten that. Whoa, that's soft. It broke right off. Cookie right there, chocolate chip. Let's give it a taste. chocolate chip cookie. All right, so final breakdown on that. I enjoyed the burger a lot. $3.99 for the whole meal, uh, $4.20 with tax, something along those lines. The burger itself is probably worth $3.99 in my opinion. Cooked perfectly, all the toppings perfect for me. Uh, the other things, the uh, french fries, the coleslaw, and the cookie, they're all standard fast food side items uh, at most fast food places, and it is what it is. Uh, it's just a little bit extra, especially if you have kids, you know, throw them the cookie, throw them the fries, and I think you're good to go for under four dollars so uh let's give it a rating shall we on a scale of one to 100 with one meaning don't even waste your money and 100 being the promised land of who i'm going to give the triple steak burger four dollar meal now under four dollar meal it's 3.99 you got to keep it real that's how they promote it they got four meals under four dollars it's 3.99 i'm going to give this meal the entire meal but probably this rating is more aimed to the burger if you followed this whole review the way it went down i'm going to give it a rating of 80 Seven. I'm going to give it an 87. The only reason it's not up in that 90 threshold is because the side items are um, below part of me. Like I said, it's just uh, not the best french fries, not the best coleslaw, actually not even in the top, I don't know, 10 or 20 coleslaws I've ever had. So uh, yeah, so there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, uh, Instagram and Twitter, social media, uh, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, do you like Steak and Shake? I'm glad I gave it a second chance, uh, but I liked it the first time I had it some years ago, but about three hours later was not enjoying it. Hope it doesn't happen again. Putting this stuff away, huh, I tell you, when you start eating more healthy, I'm definitely eating more healthy as the new year has come off camera, even more healthy than I did last year. Um, and then you eat one of these and it's like, I can't sit there and eat the entire meal. I just can't do it. I literally ate uh, three fries, I think. Had that little bit of coleslaw. I'll probably add my own mix to that coleslaw, see if it picks it up a notch when I get inside. Um, and the cookie, I had that one bite, not gonna eat any more of that, probably share that. So eating healthy, 2019, uh, you gotta do it. You got to be responsible. You can't just be uh, stuffing yourself with all of this fast food. It's going to catch up to you. And uh, I'm rambling. I'm rambling about nutrition, but that's the way I roll. Uh, you know my channel. Normally, if it is uh, a product, I'm just getting the product. I'm not getting the whole meal every single time. It's uh, very rare that I ever get the full meal. I mean, this is a deal because I was showcasing the meal, which is why I got it. But I can't even remember the last time I got the entire meal uh, with a product, uh, a new product that came out. So kudos to me.